Is getting your A-plus certification worth it? What do the job prospects look like? What is the typical salary of someone who passed their A-plus? What kinds of jobs do they go into? And how does it compare to the Security Plus? These are probably the most common questions that you ask yourself when you're considering taking your A-plus certification. And in this video, we'll be going over all of those topics and hopefully answer some of your questions that you have around the CompTIA A-plus certification. First things first, the CompTIA A-plus is really meant to be for beginners, specifically beginners in IT. IT. While many people know CompTIA specifically for their cybersecurity certifications, with arguably the most popular certification from CompTIA, which is the Security Plus, the A Plus is kind of like the younger sibling of that certification, or at least that's how it's typically talked about. But the A Plus isn't necessarily cybersecurity, but it's more so for but it's more so for anyone who is looking to get into IT and doesn't have any years of experience. Maybe you don't have an educational background in IT. And funny enough, CompTIA actually has an article specifically entitled is the CompTIA A plus worth it? And I read through this article so that you don't have to, but the main takeaways are specifically the fact that they call out that the CompTIA A plus is really for your foundational IT knowledge. I definitely won't argue with the fact that the A plus is probably going to be one of the most popular entry level IT certifications out there, but it also depends on where you start in your career and where you want to go. Another key takeaway from this article is the fact that CompTIA mentions that the CompTIA A plus appears in more tech support job listings than any other IT certification than any other IT credential. So when it comes to looking for jobs, you can definitely get a job just with an A plus certification, even if you don't have prior work experience. But it also brings up the question of if a tech support role is something that you want to go into first to start your career in IT, compared to a sysadmin role or straight into a cybersecurity role, if that's a field that you eventually want to go into. So now that we know an overview of, of the A plus certification itself, and also what CompTIA thinks, I'd also like to go over some of the exam details. So so like many of CompTIA's entry level slash beginner certifications, they don't require you to have a specific set number of years of experience. You can take this exam and not have any years of experience and just pay for the certification exam and take it. So there's no official prerequisites to take the exam. However, they do have recommended prerequisites and that is specifically 12 months of IT experience, specifically in help desk roles, desktop support technicians, and other field technician roles. But again, it's not required. Um, when I took my Security Plus, I believe it was also asking for it was also asking for some for some preferred years of experience, which was one or two years, and I had less than a year when I started studying. So it's definitely not required to to have years of experience to take your A Plus certification. But one thing that I want to call out, and in every video I talk about the A Plus, is the fact that this is actually two certification exams. So remember that for many certifications out there, it's usually one exam. But CompTIA A Plus is split into two. So the CompTIA Core 1 exam and the CompTIA Core 2 exam. This is also important to note because you also have to pay separately for these two exams. So at the end of the day, I believe the cost of the two exams total is actually more than the Security Plus certification. And I know I'm comparing a lot to the Security Plus, but that's also because it's just it's just one of their most popular certifications and it's also a good goal post to kind of compare it to. But this could also be a good thing depending on how you see it. Because when I was studying for my Security Plus, I actually recently made a video on how I passed that exam. If you guys want to check it out, it's linked in my description below. But the Security Plus certification I studied for for about three to four months and cramming all that information to study for one exam is definitely stressful. And if you're a beginner, and if you're a beginner trying to get into IT or cybersecurity, then having the A plus certification be split into two separate exams could actually be easier for you because they also cover different topics. So you don't have to cram, you know, a whole certification exam into one sitting. You can study for one half and then study for the second half. And this way you don't have to memorize as much information and it's also less stressful depending on how you see it. Um, for some people, two certification exams is stressful. For some people, spending all your time studying for one certification at the end is very stressful as well. Each of the exams require you to, to buy an exam voucher and the cost of the voucher, and remember you have to buy two of those, so in total, it's going to cost you about $478 to take both exams and officially be a CompTIA A plus certified. But CompTIA also lists some discounts on their on their website based on different criteria that you may meet. So definitely check those out before you know officially buying a voucher because you may be able to get some kind of discount. And now let's talk about the job prospects of someone who has a CompTIA A plus certification. So like I mentioned before, typically it's going to be IT technicians, help desk roles, desktop support roles. These are the primary jobs that you're going to go into where the CompTIA A plus is really going to be an added benefit. And according to dice.com, the average salary for a help desk technician is 50 
$52,000 per year in the US. Another thing to call out is the fact that the average salary across the board for, you know, entry level, early career, mid and senior level for A+, plus, for CompTIA A+, plus certification holders is about $78,000 per year. And again, keep in mind, this is for across the board. So this isn't just for entry level, but also those in more senior and advanced roles as well. So I really do think that the A+, plus certification is a good certification to get, especially if you're coming in with no experience and you want to start out in an IT role to kind of and understand the foundations of what you need to succeed in a career in IT. However, I know a lot of people use the A plus as sort of a precursor to the security plus, and I definitely do think that's a fair way to go. But I also think that if you come from somewhat of a tech background, if you've taken, maybe you've come from a boot camp, or maybe you, or maybe you graduated with your associates or bachelors, I think at that point, if you're just taking the A plus as a precursor to the security plus then I think you might as well just go for the security plus because personally, because personally, if you're going into cyber security anyway, then I would think eventually you will be studying for the security plus. And I'll also think it'll be more beneficial to you to just start there because you already have, because you already have that foundational knowledge and you don't necessarily need to take the A plus just to have it under your belt if you're going to take the security plus anyway. But again, that's only for if you're specifically interested in cybersecurity and you want to go into an entry level security role. And that's just my personal experience based on what I've seen. I graduated with my bachelor's degree in IST and I had about one year of experience before I took my security plus. And in that one year of experience, I was in a rotation program and it personally took me about three to four months to study. So I do think it's definitely doable and you don't have to start, especially if you are going to take the security plus anyway. I'm really losing daylight here because it's like six o'clock. So, so hopefully my camera doesn't make this look too dark, but that is it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you and let you know and give you some of the insight to help you decide what certification exam that you should take. Of course, this is definitely a very personal decision for everyone. You don't have to take the security plus just because I'm telling you to, if you want to go into cybersecurity, um, you can still take the A plus and then take the security plus. You know, it doesn't, I don't think there's really a wrong choice here, but hopefully this video gave you some points to work off of so that you're better able to make that decision for yourself. And if you take the security plus or the A plus or even the network plus or any other CompTIA certification to get your foot in the door in an entry level cybersecurity or IT role, I really want to wish you guys the best of luck. And if you do pass, let us know in the comments below. And we also have a Discord channel with a sort of with a certification channel if you guys want to chat with each other. There's a lot of resources on there, so I would definitely check that out. It is also free to join and linked in my description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I'll also link any CompTIA A plus resources, study resources down in my description below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Thursdays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.